All right, I'm going to be back in Revelation chapter 22 and verse 15. It says, For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and homemongers, and murderers, and adulterers, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. See, if you just love a lie, and you make a lie, you will be without the kingdom. See, a lot of people love lies. You know, that's just like some mind that said, oh, abortion is wrong. Even though they don't do a abortion, but they believe it's okay. See, that's mean you love lies. You know, you don't stand for the truth. And just like, 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 like I said about fornication, homosexuality, it's like fornication. You know, you might say, oh, a uh, woman have a right to be who she want to be with. She don't have to marry, you know, and all that stuff. Just make them pay child support, you know, different things. But you love and lie, but God said they're supposed to marry that, that woman, you know, if they have sex with that woman. You know, and stuff, that girl. But they don't want to hear that now. See, they promote lies. It's like homosexuality. They don't stand for the truth. These men, women will say, oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. They have a right to, to be who they want to be with, to love who they want to love with, sleep in the bed who they want to love with, same sex marriage. No, you're supposed to stand up for the truth. They say it's wrong. People do whatever they want to do. They kill people, steal, rob, rape, do everything they want to do. But that don't make that as right. You're supposed to stand up for the truth and say that it's wrong. You know. This is what I'm talking about. That's mean you love lies when you don't stand up for the truth. All right. You can go and find it in a different place, you know, like for without our dogs. You know, sorcerers, you can go like in First Corinthians chapter 6, you know, like verse 9 and 10. In Galatians chapter 5, you know, it's in many places in the Bible. Galatians chapter 5, verse 19 and 20, you know. There's a lot of other places like in Revelation chapter 21 and verse 8, you know. In Colossians chapter 3 and verse 6. You know, it's different places in the Bible. But I tell them I read a few scriptures, verses to you. I can go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And verse uh, 9. It said, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but be not deceived, neither fornicate, Caters, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor effeminates, nor abuse of themselves with mankind, nor thieves. See, nor thieves, I mean, nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit. The kingdom of God. See, he tell you that you will not inherit the kingdom of God if you're doing all these things. See. All right, we go to like Galatians, chapter five. Galatians. And uh, verse uh, nineteen, it said. For the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. See, he said, which are these? He go tell you. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, hate, hatred, various emulation, uh, wrath, strife, sedition, 
heresy, you see, envy, murder, see all these, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past. See what Paul said? That they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. See? They tell you. They tell you different things. And see right here, he left our liars. See? Now you can go to Revelation chapter 8. He's going to tell you about liars. 21 in and verse 8 of me, Revelation. See, he will tell you about liars. 21 and verse 8. But the fearful, nay, if you is fearful, see, because if you're fearful, you ain't going to stand for the truth. The fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and homongers and sorcerers and adulterers and all liars shall have their part in a lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death see that's the second death see the people that died like I said the people that died in some sense from way back from Noah time was in way back you know, since the beginning of time, that they didn't live right, they didn't obey the Lord. You know, when they got rise in the white throne judgment, you know, and God got put them to death again, throw them into the fire furnace. You know, throw them into hell. And that's going to be the second death. Because they died once before, and then God got raise them back up again to be judged. Tell them all what they done. You know, this will disobedient. So and that's gonna be the second death when they put them to death again. Throw into hell, fire with brimstone. The Bible's called it the second death. All right. It's other verses, but I just this morning to read to y'all today. All right, and verse 16 is and say, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star. See, Jesus is the root and offspring of David. See, Jesse was his father. Remember in the Old Testament, Jesse was you know, David's father. You know, and Jesus Christ came from the seed of David. All right, you can go to like in uh, Isaiah 11 and, and 1 and 10. Isaiah. Eleven and one, let's see. Eleven and one says, And thou shalt come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. You see? See, Jesse was David's father. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. You see? Talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. And See, the Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. The Spirit of wisdom and understanding. The Spirit of counsel and might. The Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. You see, that was Jesus Christ. See, Jesus Christ came from the seed of David is the offspring. I can verse, I think, two and verse ten of the same chapter. Verse ten says of Isaiah eleven and ten. I mean ten, and, I mean eleven and ten. That's right. And in that day, thou shalt be 
a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people too. It shall be the Gentile. Let's see. I'm going to read it again. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentile seek, and his rest shall be glorious. See, that's, you know, like I said, Jesus Christ came from the offspring of Jesse, of David. See, uh, Jesse was David's daddy, and Jesus Christ came from the seed of David, the offspring. All right. Back to uh, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 17. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that hear say, Come, and let him that is a terse come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. See, see, let's say, let him take the water of life freely. See, everybody have to come unto Jesus Christ, you know, and drink freely. And go to like uh, 1 John 14 and like St. John 7 and 34, 37, I mean 7 and 37. Then we go to St. John's, uh, I think it's 7 and 34, St. John. All right. St. John 7 and 37. I mean, 7 and 37, St. John. In the last day, that great day of feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. You see? Jesus said, If any man thirst, let him come unto him and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of waters. See, out of his belly, belly shall flow rivers of water. And verse 39 said, But this speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him shall receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because that Jesus was not yet glorified. You see? See, you gotta come and drink freely. You know, he's, he's speaking of the Holy Ghost. You know, you will receive the Holy Ghost, you know, if you be obedient and, and drink of the Spirit, you know. Obey the Lord Jesus Christ. See, and you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and you may be baptized in His name. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. But you must receive the truth, you know, because without dogs and, you know, like sorcerers and all that, drunkards, all that. Adultery, fornication, homosexuality, all that you will be without. You won't enter into God's kingdom. Paul explained it to us in different parts of the Bible. You will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, you keep doing this thing if you just make a lie and believe a lie. You know, some people just believe lies. They don't want to stand up for the truth. You know. Some of them say, oh, I'm not a homosexual. They have a right to do whatever they want to be, sleep who they want to sleep with. They're a grown man, a grown woman. 
you know, and stuff like that. You know, said, no, God, I don't want you to do that. It's wrong. I just like stealing. You can say, oh, you got a right to steal and all that. No, you don't have no right to steal. You know, stealing is wrong. You know, it's like murder. You know, you don't want to accept murder. It's like a man rape a woman or whatever, a girl. You gonna say it's wrong. Why you can't say what God say about homosexual and adultery and fornication is wrong. See, it's the same thing. All laws came from God. See, but man don't want to follow one. Of it. You know, do whatever they want to do. Except some and some that I want to, and they try to twist some, most of it. So that therefore they left all of God's commandments. You know, and why Paul said that, you know, if he's drunk or, you know, just like a, you know, like to drink, you get drunk all the time, you are not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, all that is wrong. And you know that. You know, homosexual people know that. But they don't want they want to justify themselves, you know, adulterous people too, they want to just fornicated people too, they want to justify themselves that it's right. You know, they got a right to do whatever they want to do. You can do what you want to do, but it's still wrong. It's like you can murder, kill, steal. It's just wrong. Wrong is wrong. You know. Why well, take you and throw you in jail? You can go around killing people. So, it's the same thing. All laws came from God. He made us. But that's what I wanted to bring to y'all today. But, thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge. But the people is just deceived now. Like I said, the whole world are mad and you're deceived. You know, the Bible spoke of that. You know, it speaks of it in Revelation. The nation are mad or angry. You know. Talk about it in Jeremiah too. See. They are mad. You know, almost all the people are mad and angry. You can't tell them nothing. They don't want you to tell them nothing no more. You know, they want to believe that they know it all. Everybody. <laughs> including you too. <laughs> That's right. You know, everybody won't make believe they know it all. They don't want to admit that they're wrong about nothing. When you're just wrong, you're just wrong. And God will find you out that you are wrong. He'll show you that you are wrong. But you might not want to accept it, but it's still wrong. All right. Thank you all. And may God bless you all and give you all wisdom.